Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsess, and today we are going to harvest the Vermibag Little Mammoth. Alright, so let's see what we can do here. Kind of did this in reverse order. Let's see if you can. You can't actually see that, can you? Let me, there we go. We've moved you so you can see. All right, well, looks like this is definitely gonna need sifted, but as I have filled this thing to the top with the last feeding, which you may have already seen, um, this is just gonna have to be what it is. And sometimes with these continuous flow systems, honestly, you get what you get the first couple of times, and this is only the second time that I've harvested it. And sometimes it just takes, you know, honestly, a few cycles, two or three, to, uh, to get everything to a good consistency. And right now I'm seeing, you know, a lot of stuff that's going to need to be sifted out. I'm not really seeing hardly any worms at all. Um, so the moisture is okay. It's not siftable today, but definitely in maybe a week or so. So I'm just going to go up to about right here where the zipper panel is and I'm going to close this side back up before I open up the other side. There's always things you learn from doing things more than once and one of them is in this particular system the um, the zipper it goes all the way around Maybe. Things I should have done before I started the camera. There we go. And I just moved the, the mortar tray here. Um, I made the, the frame so that it would hold a mortar tray, the kind that I get here locally. You know, it, when you if, you if you want to look at what I've done, um, I have a video for that of uh, me building this. I think it was last Christmas. The Vermi bag was my Christmas present to me. So, yeah, the, everything's doing a good job here. And when you if you look at the video of the the build, you can see that there's kind of a, a barrier in the middle here. Alright, so I think this will give me about one mortar tray full. Probably about 20 pounds, 30 pounds of material coming out of this right now. Not a lot of worms, so that's ideal. Good moisture, not a lot of worms. That's really just the only goal for this kind of thing. Um, hopefully don't have to sift a whole bunch. This time I am going to have to sift. And then the part that I always have a problem with is getting this to move down, which I think the last time people kind of laughed at me because I was using it for a punching bag. But yeah, I mean, that's what you do. You just keep hitting the sides until it all comes down. And uh, let's take a look and see what I have. I'll move you back and then pull the tray out. Okay, so this is what we have right now. Obviously gonna need sifted. Got some lids and corn and, and other stuff here in the bottom. Things that take six or eight months or a year or two to be processed. And some of it, of course, is stickers off of fruit and whatever and so that will have to be sifted out but I can do that at a later time. Alright guys, well if you like the video give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family click that subscribe button and if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day.